welcome. Today we're going to continue putting the background in. So let's get started. Now I'm going to put on the little lighter shade of green. Not too much. I don't want to cover up all that dark. Now I'm going to take a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, and really lighten this up a little bit. This will be where the the sun is hitting on the top of the trees. I'll zoom in so you can get a closer look at them tree areas. There's the top of the tree with like four or five different colors. And there's the left side of the engine. We got some green foliage over here on the right hand side so we're going to add put that in. But we're going to start putting the telephone pole in. This old pole has been out in the weather for quite a while so we're going to have to put some weathering on them. So I'm just going to get some white Take some white and put right on that paint. Just drag it right down. You'll get the the lines on the pole. I got the telephone poles roughed in. After they dry, we'll take some thinner and then put the details in. But I'll give you a look at it right now. I got some more of that green and black. And we'll put a little bit of highlight on it, just a little bit. I took some dark green and on an angled brush I hold it like this. Just drag it up and we'll put them in. First we'll put the, the dark green in and then we'll go and put the light and then finish off with the dried grass. I was taking the fan brush and just the very edge and just a, a variety of colors I've just been going up to the canvas holding it straight up and down just giving her a little upward strokes. I don't want to get too carried away with the grass because it's not the star of the show but that's a good resemblance. It's just something new that I've been working on. Well we're going to start and put the track in. I have some burnt sienna, some burnt umber, and some black. Now it's going to start to get us a good color for the rails. Right now we're just getting them roughed in so you don't have to worry too much about detail or anything like that. Once they dry you can really put the different shading and highlights in by using washes and I'll show you how to do that whenever that comes around. Another trick I use is whenever you're painting a straight line and you're uncertain if it's straight or not, the best way to check is to actually look at it from one end to the other. I'll show you how to do that. I 
that angle you can really see if it's straight or not. Mine isn't straight yet, but we just got I just wanted to show you this little technique of looking at making sure your lines are straight. I'm going to start on the very end with a little bit of white, black, some burnt sienna, some brown. Just keep working it forward. You're not going to see any detail. That's why I want to keep it real, real light. I'll zoom in on that so you can see it. And the further you come toward the front of the painting, the more detail you're going to get. You're putting a limestone in, you just get your moldy color, just take a small brush, just start dabbing it where it's, it should be. I got a little bit of gray, a little bit of black, I got some browns in there. Then after this dries, we'll put a wash on it. I get some thinner and a little bit of paint. I thin it down real, real, real light, like almost a water. And then I'll brush over like back here and stuff, and it'll make real nice shadows and gives it a really nice effect. It just takes a while, that's all. I'm going to zoom in so you can take another look. And I'll finish it out. I've got about four or five different colors on here now. And then we'll put the wash on it. And then once you get the rails and track in, it looks a lot better. But I'll give you a close up. Well, I got the road bed done. There's about five or six different colors in there. There's like three or four shades of gray, some black, some tan, some brown, some white, some off-white. And once that dries, we'll put the track in. Then we'll go up and once again, we'll put some more, some grass over top of the gravel. And then we can start putting the train in. Painting like this is going to take you 30 or 40 hours, so this is something you really can't rush. Well, that's about all the time I have for today. Next time we'll just keep putting the background in until we get it finished. Thanks for watching. Take care.